Hi, my name is Jasmine, I'm from Germany and I'm a first year reading English at Teddy Hall. The English course at Teddy Hall mainly consists of two parts, classes and tutorials. In classes you will discuss the texts that your tutor has assigned you for the specific week with all the other people in your year group forming ideas and getting inspirations for the essays you are going to write on these topics. Tutorials are smaller study groups, usually of two to three students plus a tutor, where you discuss an essay you wrote for about an hour. Um, these tutorials are aimed at challenging your ideas and the writing style of your essays, as well as getting a good feedback of where you are and which parts of your essay skills you should hone. The nice thing about the English course at Oxford is there is no set syllabus meaning that while tutors assign you a reading list, you are very much encouraged to do individual reading and also write essays about topics that, and texts which interest you personally and which you did not read for class. This means that there is a lot of possibility for creativity in this course and for really making sure that you can study what fascinates you the most. In the first year as an English student, there are four papers which we study the first one is Introduction to English Language and Literature, where one mostly deals with theoretical texts about literary theory, as well as learns how to do linguistic analysis and such get a good and broad overview of how language and literature work. Then there are three period papers, one from around 650 till 1350, and then two later period papers, one from around 1830 till 1910, and one from 1910 until the present. And in the cases of all of these, you always have the possibility to do further research and individual reading and thus shape what you look at within these periods very specifically towards your interests. The tutors at Teddy Hall are great both on an academic and a human level. They're always there to answer any questions you might have about essays or uncertainties and will really encourage you to go your own path but also in a human level, when there's anything distressing or that you want to share with them, either positive or negative, they're always so glad to listen and support you. It creates a really great atmosphere among the student cohort and with the tutors, where everyone is very comfortable together and there's no judgement, especially in classes where um, everyone is just free to speak and say their own opinion on the given texts. It's a very free atmosphere, especially as we're not being graded throughout the year. I started reading classics in English literature when I was about 12 or 13 years old and was fascinated by the kind of world and atmosphere that I felt was present in these works even when they were all very different and coming from a different country I just felt like reading these works on my own didn't help me to go the full way with exploring them in all different possibilities and I hoped by going to university and studying English literature to get the kind of stimulating ideas and theoretical frameworks and group discussions that would really take my reading in many new directions and shape the way I see the world through the works I've read. What tutors at Oxford like to see for the personal statement is how you can demonstrate your enthusiasm in the subject beyond the things you did in the classroom, so the individual reading you did, but not only that, um, they especially care about how this reading then led you to formulate own ideas and do further research, um, such as reading a literary magazine or listening to a podcast that also spoke about similar topics. Applying as an international student, I was very worried because I did not have English literature as a school subject and had had to do all of my reading in English in, on my own. But at some point I decided that instead of trying to hide the fact that I'd read more German literature at school than English literature, I would play my strengths and include a comparison among German and English versions of the Faust myth in my personal statement to really give the tutors insight into how my thinking between languages worked and played itself out in literature. The personal statement really is intended to be 
a space for you to write down your thoughts for the tutors to see as clearly as possible and to give them as good an insight into how fascinating your thinking is as you can possibly convey. Meaning that don't shy away from any original ideas or even things which might seem weird or unexpected. They will read lots of personal statements and the ones which are most honest and open and true about their content will ring very nicely for them and um, might make you stand out among a huge group of students. The idea about the written work is mainly to show how you have engaged with ideas close to your subject in a school environment and how school has helped you shape your own ideas within that area of your interest. And so you shouldn't stress too much about having to write a new exam that will fit a specific format for written work because they're really trying to understand your organic and real situation and therefore as long as you explain your situation and um, do that early enough there should be enough ways of showing them what you've already done in the past and to demonstrate them how brilliant you did at school. The admissions test for English at Oxford is called ELAT and I honestly found it very difficult, especially as I'd never written an essay in English before I started my preparation for the ELAT. When I went on the internet and looked for advice for how to prepare for the ELAT, many people wrote that you should just do a few practice exams, perhaps in September, October, leading up to the real exam at the end of October. But I always found that advice a bit frightening because I felt that this wouldn't be enough for me to do well on this test. And I think it's really important to remember that you're allowed to be at whatever position you are um, concerning this paper. You might feel really confident and that's good, but you might also feel very intimidated. And there are definitely many solutions to how you can solve this. Um, there are lots of past papers on the internet, actually so many that even if you start practicing months in advance, there will probably be enough material for you to do tons and tons of practice goes at this exam um, and so even if you don't manage to even finish an ELAT the first time you try do not despair but just keep going back to it and try again and again and eventually you will feel it clicking and improving and it will feel great. Uh, another suggestion I have is to start reading literary criticism uh, or articles, anything you can find where people are making arguments about literature and seeing how they shape their arguments and what you like about the way they do it or not and then use this to influence your own writing style. If you play around with that and just feel creative and confident then it will definitely help you and make you feel happy on the exam day. Um, lastly, I think a really important skill for the ELAD and something that they're trying to assess, especially as the test is only one and a half hours long, is how flexibly you can respond to the passages they give you. Um, when I sat the ELAT there were six passages to choose from and you were supposed to contrast two in an essay you wrote on whichever topic you wanted. So um, something that I did to practice was just take two random texts every day and see in what ways they were similar or different, then trying to go deeper and find more nuanced places of comparison. And the more you do that, the more it will also shape your thinking about literature. I had a total of three interviews, two of which were at Teddy Hall and one at Jesus College to which I was pooled. Pooled just means that you get an additional, several additional interviews at another college after the co uh, interviews you did at the first college at which you're based. This means that altogether I arrived at Teddy Hall um, and stayed in a student room, which was an absolutely great experience. You really feel like you're already a university student. You should absolutely enjoy that. And um, I used my time being based at Teddy Hall, first of all, to interact both with other applicants who were all really fascinating and kind, but also um, with students who were already part of the hall hearing from them what it's like to be here and what they enjoy most. And um, I did a bit of light reading on the days of the, uh, days of the interviews just to get myself um, into the mental state in which I wanted to be to discuss 
um, passages in the actual interview. And um, then I had two interviews on the same day in Teddy Hall, for which um, I received a passage to annotate about 20 to 30 minutes before the interview. And then in the interview, the tutors asked me to speak them through the passage or ask specific questions about it and then further questions about my personal statement. The interviews felt a bit scary at first. Um, I remember coming out of my first interview and thinking it had been a disaster, but actually thinking of it as a really stimulating conversation about a topic that both sides of the conversation love and an amazing chance to talk to world leading academics, no matter if they will take you for the course or not, can be really stimulating and exciting. And they will feel your excitement and your passion if you openly display it in the interview. After receiving my offer to come and study here, first of all, I focused on attaining the grades I needed for school um, and took a bit of time off. And then the tutor sent us the reading list for the papers for this year. I definitely misunderstood this reading list and thought that every single work on it was a must read. Um, but actually, when you look at it closely, they do indicate which things you should read and which things are just in additional reads. And the idea with these extra reads is not that you go and look at every single one of them, but that you really read what interests you most. And the earlier you start picking your extra texts like that and following your own interests, the more fruitful the course will be. And so um, even though the reading list might feel a bit long and exhausting over the summer. It's just so much fun um, to go and read around and discover all the things that you're going to deal with next year. In case it feels a bit overwhelming to have um, all these works, especially as in the fir in first year we do a lot of long Victorian novels, there is no necessity to read all of them in their entirety over the summer, as there's a bit of time during term. But on the other hand, I wish I'd read as much as possible over the summer because really it just frees up more time for you to do individual reading, which um, is the key towards finding out what your own interests are and writing essays that are very much tuned to your own subjective um, fields of interest. And I cannot stress that enough. Um, the earlier you discover that, the more amazing this course is, as the tutors will really help you to find your specific niche. Teddy Hall is an amazing environment, both academically and on every other level, um, socially and extracurricular wise. Um, as I already said, the tutors and the people in the cohort are all really amazing and understanding on many different levels, but generally the hall has a very cosy and friendly atmosphere about it. When you walk through Front Quad, which is the front part of Teddy Hall, um, very often you bump into students and um, there are lots of nice conversations. Um, I definitely noticed that at Teddy Hall, not only people in one year um, speak to each other, but you can very easily form friendships with second or third years and everyone is really um, interested in each other. And it's a really great place because sometimes you might want to discuss something with an older student or just get another person's opinion. And there's always someone around um, who's willing to listen for whatever reason. Um, and similarly, it feels great to support others in this environment where everyone's so close-knit. There are loads of social options in Teddy Hall as well. Um, it's one of the things I love most about the hall, how um, it kind of offers something for everyone. Um, there are lots of sports, of course, um, and it's always possible to start a new society if it doesn't exist yet. Then for people who, with lots of music interests, there is the choir who sing Evensong every Sunday. And additionally, there's lots of um, free possibility to have your own music projects going on through the Music Society. Um, there are lots of drama events and possibilities. And I think one of the most famous and enjoyable parts of Teddy Hall's social life is the creative writing group, where you can bring um, texts that you've written or just come along and listen to discussions of texts and build your skills in giving constructive criticism or also getting really useful feedback on your own writing to develop as a writer. The hall has a really great 
tradition with um, writing and once in a while um, authors are being invited to the hall to do readings which can be really thrilling for people who love writing. As cheesy as it sounds, believe in yourself. I definitely didn't, implying from a context where people don't usually go to Oxbridge and at some parts of my application it was really tough to still think I had any chance. But you can definitely do this and there is a reason for why you love your subject and um, it's a valid reason so just put it out there and show them what you've got and no matter if you'll get in or not it will take you so far and I really mean it. I don't think I've ever learned as much about myself before coming to Oxford as in the application time period because with all its challenges but also rewarding moments there is really a lot that you find out about yourself and how you work in these situations. But again, and I cannot stress this enough, be yourself and there to show the tutors your personal reading interests and the topics that you would like to explore and the more you do that the more they'll be able to see how brilliant you are. Please ask any further questions you might have in the comment section and make sure to follow Teddy Hall on Instagram. Our account name is SEH Axis and we do takeover days there so you can have a look at what a day in the life for someone studying a specific subject might look like and also ask your own questions both um, in the Instagram stories or in the DMs so that you can interact with students already here and find out everything you want to know about the hall. I wish you the best of luck and I'm looking forward to seeing you soon.